Hey guys, so this is a foundation tutorial that is perfect for springtime. It is glowing and dewy and fresh and just bright. So if you want to know how I got this look, just keep watching. Bye guys! So I am back with no face makeup on. And the first thing that I did, which I didn't film, but just to let you guys know, I just primed my face with my daily moisturizer just to give something, just to give the foundation something to adhere to and make your face nice and smooth. So now we're gonna start with foundation. So I'm mixing these two together. If you are familiar with either of these foundations, it's kind of odd that I'm mixing them together. This is a luminous foundation, this is YSL's. And this is Kat Von D's, and this is a full coverage foundation. I have freckles on this side of my cheek, and this will cover everything. So cover freckles, acne scars, anything, you name it. I'm going to mix these two together. One pump of the YSL. And one pump of Kat Von D's. Both on the back of my hand. I'm just going to mix them together. And then with a flat top foundation brush. I'm just going to dip that in the back of my hand like this. And I start in the problem area first. So I'm a little bit red over here because I am burnt. So I'm just going to press it in. And in circular motions, you just want to put this all over your face. So I failed to mention this before, but when I'm doing my foundation, I just neglect the under eye area because I don't want anything dark under there. I like to just add concealer. So now let's do concealer. <laughs> so for concealer, I use Max Pro Longwear, and I do the same thing as I do with the foundation. I just I just do a pump on the back of the hand. Obviously this is several shades lighter than my foundation, but that's what's going to give the nice, bright, glowing, highlighted look, which I love to do. You want to make it into a V like this, and then drag it all the way by the end of your eyebrow and your cheekbone, so this way. And of course I've heard about the Beauty Blender and all sorts of brushes, but honestly I think the way to get concealer to not crease is to just use your ring finger and just blend, even though sometimes it can really take forever. So to really give my skin that dewy, glowing look, I'm going to take Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer in Illuminating. I'm going to take it and I just put it on the back of my hand and it's on my ring finger and I'm just going to take it onto my cheekbones. I'm going to put it down my nose and in the middle of my forehead. Oh, and also on the lip. With our same foundation brush, I just blend everything in. So whatever is left on the back of my hand, I just like to take and put it on the collarbone. So I take whatever's left and so as you can see it's just a really nice pretty glow. So I'm going to take a matte bronzer and a brush and just dip it in like this, knock a little bit off, 
skin. Now we're going to do just a little bit of contouring. So you just want to find your cheekbones. So I personally don't follow the cheekbone line all the way down because I think that gives too harsh of a look and it's too much of a blunt line. I like to just take it from here to the arch of my eyebrow and just make a slight line so that it looks more natural. So now we're going to set our concealer and using this super white powder and my brush, I'm just going to press it in, knock a little off, and you don't want to sweep this under your eyes. That's going to make your eye, that's going to make your concealer crease. So I'm just going to tap this under my eye and this is just going to really brighten it and set it as well. I'm also going to take it to the forehead as well. And very lightly, not even putting any extra product, you can take it under your contour just to really brighten that area up. So now for blush, I'm using the blush Peaches from MAC. And I just take my brush, go like that, tap some off. To really give it that dewy, glowing look, I'm going to also top the blush with a highlighter from MAC. And this highlighter just looks like spring. It has purple in it, it has pink, and I just take a fluffy brush like what we just used with the blush, and I take just a tiny bit. This stuff is very pigmented, so just, just like that, just to make it a little bit more luminous and highlighted look. So I just added a little bit of brown eyeliner and a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes and now we're going to go in with lips. And last but not least, setting spray. And that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Bye, guys. And action. <laughs> Where do I put my hands? Oh, <laughs> You're doing really good. You know, it's funny. <laughs>